Okay, here we go again. Now I've cheated a bit, I've made a, an end, a saloon end, just to show you how to put things together. Um, now we're going to start by, when we started the first one we made it 3mm thick, which is a bit thick, so <clears throat> to make it uh, not quite so thick, if we just invert it slightly using the uh, orbit tool, and we then go to the push-pull tool, and we just, look at that, we can see that the entire bottom of that has now changed. Uh, colour, we just lift it slightly, and we go to our keypad, and we type in 1. We've now made it 2mm rather than 3mm, so that's it, and that will match up with the end I've quickly made as well. So there we are. Now, if you think about it, if you've got a plastic kit and you stick two parts together, then you're stuck with those two parts. You can't really do much else. And the same happens with this. What you have to do is make everything an independent part. So when they stick together, or when they fit together, you can move them around still, and they're not going to start dragging bits off the other one and, and that sort of thing. Uh, if you don't quite understand what I mean, then try doing it another way, and you soon will. Now, we're going to start by clearing the desktop. Um, we want to get rid of all the guidelines because they just get in the way. So if we go up to edit in the top left hand corner, look at the drop down and you find one that says delete guides. So we just delete the guides and there we are, it's a nice clean worktop. Now let's select the side first because we need to stand the side up. Because at the moment it's just lying flat on our worktop. So we need to select it. So treble click or thereabouts until everything is blue on that particular one. Now we're going to make that into a group and it's important that you make these things into a group. That stops the sort of welding together permanently. So right click on it and you'll see along there it says make group. Not make component but make group. And you do that and there we are. Now it's got a, a blue line all the way around it. If we deselect it and we go back and select it again it comes up straight as a group. We want to do the same with the end, and all I've done with that end is done it, made it exactly the way I made the other one. I've inset the door slightly, I've inset a door panel, I've put two windows in it, and I've put a ticket collection box on it. And I've left one side blank, uh, that would go behind the stairs. Now if we select that, right click on it, make group, there we are, we've now got two groups. First thing to do is to turn this section up on its side. So use the orbit tool, get it round so you've got it there. Now over on the right hand side here you may remember we've got the rotate tool which are the two arrows chasing their tails. Right, so using the rotate tool take it over to the model, put it on the bottom left hand corner and it's got to be the red one because we're going to flip it up along the red index. Just click it there, move to the end Click again at the end point, up you go, type in 90, and there we are, that's now standing upright. Go back to the arrow tool, there we are. We want to do the same with the end, so once again select the rotate tool, bottom left hand corner, one click, click on the end, up we go, type in 90. Great. There we go. So now we've got both bits standing up, but we want one piece at the right angles, don't we? So we want the end piece at a right angle. So again, we go to the rotate tool. And this time it will be along the blue axis. Click on one end, click on the other. 90. There you go. Right. So I think that is, is perhaps not quite self-explanatory, but I hope uh, you get the idea. So now we've got these two pieces, now we've got to do is put them together. But we're going to need two ends. Now the other end is going to have to be reversed, isn't it? Because obviously you can't have the um, blank end where passengers get on. So what we do is we can duplicate this, much the same way you duplicate anything. Control C, once you've selected it. Control V, and you'll find a little cross comes up and there we have the other part. Now, to make a reverse of that, which is what we need to do, if we select uh, arrow tool, right click on it, and you'll see three from the bottom, it says flip along. 
So <clears throat> what we want to do is to flip it along the axis. Now I always have a problem with this because I can never work out which axis it should be flipped along. But I think it's the blue one. So if we click on blue, um, that's turned it round. So it's now we're now looking at the back of it. But we still see if we put that at the other end, we're still going to have the blank wall next to the plat next to where the passengers get on. So we've done that. So now we want to flip along, and I think it'll be the red. There we are. Now what we've done, if we look around there, <coughs> we've actually turned that the right way around. Okay, right, let's now stop mucking about and get these moved <coughs> where we want them. <coughs> Excuse me, not enough cups of tea this morning, obviously. Now, go to the Move tool, which is the, like a bit of like a Knight's Cross, and then move over to the one you want to move. Hold the left mouse button down, and you'll see you can move this around. So move it so it's roughly in position. It doesn't matter if it um, if it goes through the other one. Spin it around. Now by using the uh, page up and the uh, ho or the, the left and right buttons on the computer keyboard, you can select which way you move the uh, material. It does it in a straight line. So go to move, click on it. Now click the left mouse button, uh, the um, left keyboard button. There we go, and that's moved that along. Now you can see it's just moved it to there. That's okay. Now click on the page up button. You don't have to hold the mouse button down when you're doing this. And there we are. Let's move that. Now spin that round and just have a quick look. It needs to come a little bit closer over. So again, select the Move tool, and now select the uh, right hand button on the on the keyboard. And there we are, and it can come up just a touch more. So select the page up. These are the sort of navigation buttons that you've got on your keyboard might not be quite so easy on a laptop, but it's uh, fairly straightforward on a, a proper desktop computer. So there we've got two parts which are joined together. We can do the same with our other end. So we just go to the Move tool, get it roughly in position. Now always hold the mouse button down when you're moving it with the Move tool alone. Pan up a bit and zoom in. Move tool. Right now we want to move it across, so we use the left hand of the navigate buttons on the keyboard. You don't have to hold the mouse button down. There we go. It's just touching. Now we want to move it up slightly. So move the up the page up button. There we go. And the closer you are in on this, the more fine the control is. And then we just want to move it out a little bit. So we move the right hand button. And there we are. That's our bits all together. And you'll see they're the right way round. You've got the ends sort of inverse. But you haven't got another side. Well, don't worry. Because you've made everything a group, each one a group, you can just select that. And you can Control c Control v And then we've got another, another copy of it. So we want to flip that along where are we? There we, are. we want to flip that along I think the red axis nope we want to flip that along the blue axis right I told you I get confused with this that's why it takes me so long to make these models right there we go so we've now got that round the right way we can now move that into roughly the right position and then we know it, it's an identical end to the other one so whatever we put it on this end it's going to be right Move it up, move it up, it's level with the top, and then move it along using the right button on the navigate button. Now we can bring it out just a touch because it's quite a long way in. There we are. As they say in all the best shows, that's all there is to it. 
Now a quick tip, if you want to make the whole of that a group, which probably at this time is, is a good idea, if you get it to a position like that, use the arrow tool on the top left of the toolbar. Just to take that arrow tool right around, just drag a little box around it. And you'll notice it's selected everything within that box. Right click on the shell and make group. There we go. Now the whole of that is now a group. So when you go to move it, it all moves around as it is. And it's very useful then when you want to other platforms. And that will be the next bit that I try and do. Anyway, I hope you've understood this. Uh, if not, PM me and um, we'll have another go.